What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Geeky Techie. In this video, we'll be talking about Flutter for desktop or Flutter desktop embedding. Although there are no official release by Flutter itself for desktop support, but there are unofficial packages which are developed by Google itself. So we'll be seeing them in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So guys, there are two approaches for running Flutter apps on desktop. The first one is Flutter desktop embedding and the second one is Go Flutter. So first let's have a look at Flutter desktop embedding. If you open up Flutter desktop embedding repo in GitHub, which is a project of Google, you can find the instruction on how to use this code. You can follow along with me for Windows and if you are running it on Linux or Mac, you can see the instruction in this these are the limitation of this and it is not officially supported it's just a unofficial approach to run flutter projects on desktop so if you go for this quick start guide you will find that you can run this by copying the platform folder and copying the code of popspec.yml and i'll show you guys in a bit so let's start for windows you have to install visual studio 2017 and you should include desktop development with c plus plus so let's do that open up a new tab and search for visual studio download and click the first link or you can also click the link on the description and you will be taken to this website download the community edition as it is free to download and after you have completed downloading it, install it. In my case, I have already installed Visual Studio, so it will not take much time for me to install it, but if it is the first time running Visual Studio, it will take some time to install it. After you have completed installing it, you will be greeted with this window. Here click on desktop development with C++ and choose Windows 10 SDK and build tools. These are necessary for running Flutter apps on Windows. After that click on modify or install. And the next thing you want to do is clone the repository and copy the example folder. So let's go to the browser where the repository is open and let's clone the repository. I'm going to download the zip or uh, but you can also git clone it through the terminal. And after the download is completed, uh, open up your download folder or wherever you have downloaded the zip file and extract it. After extraction is completed, open up the folder and you can uh, work in this directory, it's fine, but I'm going to copy the example folder to a different location. I'm going to copy it in download and make a new folder here. I'm going to name the folder Flutter Desktop so that it's easy to remember what the folder is. And I'm going to paste my example folder here. After that, I'm going to open up command prompt. And for Flutter Desktop to work, you must not be on stable channel. So it's recommended to change your channel to master so i'm going to use this command to change my channel to master it'll take a while to complete this change and after the change is complete you must run flutter upgrade So 
so after typing flutter upgrade you will download some necessary files and you will be on master channel so wait for a while to complete flutter upgrade and you will be good to go Next thing you want to do is change the directory to the example run flutter packages get so that all the packages of flutter are fetched properly and flutter app can run properly. After getting the packages you can run the normal command flutter run to run the app but as you can see it shows no connected devices this is because your desktop is not recognized as an emulator or a device to solve that type this command set enable flutter desktop equals to true this will set an environmental variable so that it will allow running flutter apps on desktop after that run the flutter run command again and you should be able to run the app so after building the app it has run on my windows pc so let's test this as you can see guys uh, it's fine it's working good but there are a lot of rendering problems and even in this raise button or floating action button remains clicked and to unclick it you must click outside the button and if you minimize this it will crash it's a big problem so uh, let's modify this and see if we can find something else too So let's go to the example directory in here you can find lib folder and within it you can find main.dart this is the code for your application so let's clear out the comments and as you can see here it's similar to the flutter mobile app code so it's basically same code base and the only difference I can find here is it is targeting to the Fushia platform so that's the difference here otherwise the code is pretty same as material app scaffold floating action button and all they all are similar to the flutter mobile development so let's open this folder in visual studio code to do that i'm gonna use terminal or command prompt and type code space period this command will open the current directory in Visual Studio Code. So here we are on Visual Studio Code and let's open up main.dart. And let's run the application to do that I'm going to use control F5 which is start without debugging and for your information guys once you run flutter run on command prompt once it will work 
in Visual Studio 2 but the first time you have to run it through command prompt so that the required files for Windows is installed in the directory of the project so after that you can use Visual Studio code or you can use Android Studio to run your desktop app let's wait for the building to complete and after that we'll be presented with the app so here is our desktop app let's move it to the corner and resize it so that we can see both the code as well as the execution at the same time so first of all i'm gonna change the title of material app I don't find its use anywhere because I can't find photo demo anywhere in the execution. So let's change the uh, app bar's title and see if photo load works. So I'm going to change it to my title and save it so that auto load will run. And it is working, so we can finally conclude that. Auto reload works on desktop, although it didn't work on Flutter Web. You can see my another video which is based on Flutter Web, which is a technical preview from Flutter team. I highly recommend you guys to watch that. So in this code, let's remove everything and oh I forgot to include the build method. So let's implement the build method for the state class. Oh, I should be returning a scaffold because this is the first state. So scaffold and here we go let's remove the debug tag in there to do that go to your material app and set the debug so check mode banner to false and i'm gonna quickly type the code so that we can test the desktop app this code is similar to the Flutter web app that we had created in previous tutorial. So let's see how it works on extra platform. In this video, I'm focusing mainly on Windows, but uh, I will be making a video on Linux as well in the near future. I'm basically making a grid view and populating it with cars and I'm checking the media query so that I can give a fixed amount of cross axis count so that it is responsive when the stream size is changed. We had discussed this in my previous tutorial of Flutter Web. So yes guys it is working here. Although there is a rendering problem when we change the screen size, but the responsive responsiveness is there, so it's good. Yeah.
everything is working the draw is working scrolling is working but if you minimize it it will crash that's a big problem i hope this will be fixed soon by the flutter development team of the flutter desktop and i hope flutter desktop support will come pretty soon so that we can bring our mobile app and web app to the desktop platform uh, let's also check the gradient so that we can be sure that desktop app also support gradients so i'm going to change the drawer header background with decoration gradient and till it fails i'm going to add some icon buttons in the actions of app bar and the gradient is working so let's add the icon buttons or the accents so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching my video please leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video and please subscribe to my channel because I'll be posting more videos and more ideas about Flutter and many more. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for me, please leave them on the comment section. I'll be happy to read them and I'll reply to you as soon as possible.